Okay, so um, this is me in the studio. I've just spent the last week or so revamping it. Got this uh, nice baffle that you can see behind you. And it's been shot on a slightly nicer camera. And this has been shot on uh, one of those little off-brand 4K action cam things. And I'm really liking it. Got my standard Rangers podcasting microphone and uh, the little mixer here. In case you can't see it. Little mixer. And um, yeah, so we've got my decks over here. Got my record decks. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Above that's the lighting that you've seen in the other videos. And uh, yeah, so I think it's looking very radio stationy. And um, yeah, so if, if there's anything that you think I should add, I was tempted to put a big white Ranger skull on the backdrop here. I don't know. I've got the means to do that. I don't know. Perhaps you can let me know what you think. And I've got all my records over here. And we do a bit of a series about record collecting when you don't have to spend a huge amount of money. I'm trying to remember to look into the lens. I've got my coffee. I've got my ashtray. So, um, this is probably the last in the How My Studio Got Sorted videos. Um, we'll just give you... Uh, um, but this is what I was aiming at. I wanted a, a space that would look suitably rangers. And uh, finally all the power cabling's in, the speakers and the DJ table's been sprayed olive green. Got this spraying down on here. There's another one behind the camera. And I've got the two lights up here. Should be giving me decent enough light for you to see how unpleasant it is to look at me. And the reason I keep flicking down to the laptop is that's where the OBS studio software is working on the laptop. And this um, is the kind of format, the kind of view, if you like. Um, I was going to do for the almost like Rangers Radio. This set's going to be used for other things as well, because obviously we've got the decks here. Um, but this is going to be the Rangers TV set. We'll be doing all, most, all the inside stuff, hopefully, will be here, unless it's candid inside stuff. I'm going to try and bring you a lot more outside broadcasting bits and pieces. And, um, yeah, just generally try and make it better. So... This isn't the reason I've been not making the videos for a little while. This is the reason I'll be starting making them. I just got a bit depressed with everything. So I've kind of got, I wanted this whole professional uh, looking radio studio. I wanted like a few thumb things for me and a kind of end of the world party thing. So I'll, continu I'll continue ramping up the decal and improving it. But it's looking pretty cool right now. Pardon me. And this is me just... Going, wow, that was a lot of frigging about. But you like him a, a, a camouflage spray painted table? Yeah. And me, very bad attempt at tiger stripe. It looks a little bit better in real life, really. Here it looks a bit crap. But it's, it, you get more of the speckle effect when you see it in person. There's another one done pretty much the same site behind you. And yeah, so this would be Rangers Radio. This would be what you would see on the Rangers Radio video. Um, we never really did much editing anyway to start with on Rangers Radio, so we can just record this. Um, I was thinking about pushing it out as a live stream to YouTube, um, and that way we can still do guests via Google Hangouts, which would be cool. Um, and then when I upload it to archive.org, what I'll do is I'll pop it in... Um, an mp3 downloadable format so you can listen to it there won't be an awful lot to see but it'll still be a bit more interesting um i don't know if i'll be able to plug in anything else maybe another laptop get a bit of picture in picture going i don't know if i can work out how to use this obs studio which is bloody good by the way gives you a, a start and a stop recording but i figured if we made it more of an event people that want to be about for it will be People that don't will just download it or watch it later on. But I'm really liking the Google Hangout thing. Uh, I just wanted to get a much better camera. So this is thing. And the camera should at some point have a working pan tilt head so we can scan around the studio a little bit. So that would be fun. So maybe if we put on some tracks or something like that. So yeah, let me know what you think. This is just a short video. This is the third um, Funk Bunker video, if you like. Don't start smoking. It's really stupid and fantastically expensive. 
Stay off drugs, kids. The world is too scary. You couldn't begin to fathom it. If and if and if you're wrecked, you either can't do anything about it, or you know, it uh, you just wouldn't care. But there's a lot going wrong with the world. Hmm. Definitely gonna have to put a teddy bear on the top of that camera purely because it's a little black box against a lot of light and I, I find it hard to focus on it so yeah do that trick the BBC used to do for getting kids to work but yeah this is the sort of closed in shot of Rangers Radio there's space for someone else to sit here that's cool I've still got a bit of space if I move over here so we could have three people in really uh, might need to rig up another microphone stand and get a nice interesting mix in which would require more equipment but we've got that and I quite like to have a completely different camera, say maybe over to this side, so we can actually get a completely different shot, so it's a bit more interesting to watch and figure out a way to flick between those cameras. So yeah, so this is the last Funk Bunker video. There, may, there will be more updates to the decal. Like I said, well, I will be changing stuff and making stuff look a bit cooler purely because I can, and it's fun to learn how to do stuff. So I learned a bit of carpentry, building the DJ table, did a bit of random upcycling just for some flat boards there to build the little shelf for the decks to go on. The uh, speaker cabinet behind was just literally a find on the street. It was a bit smashed up, but it makes a good speaker stand. And this speaker stand back here, believe it or not, is a piece of corporate junk, as is this stand. This was uh, an old corporate stand-up poster, the ones that, go in, that roll themselves up. But it had terrible, terrible corporate stuff on it, so it needed to go. But now... It expands the viewpoint. You're not seeing end of the set and you're not having to see a, as closed in a view as you needed to. And I've got another one, so we can essentially move the set round and change it depending on what we're shooting. And you still get that, you know, I guess Apocalypse Now having a party vibe. So it's uh, the Apocalypse Now disco. The world is all going to end. We're going to tell you about it. Thanks for watching.